sustainable choices in my everyday life and I'm really excited to introduce you to today's sponsor which is Native. They sent me their plastic free deodorants. The first scent that I got is coconut and vanilla and this one just smells like a coconut paradise. It's so good. And then the second one I got is citrus, herbal, and musk. This one smells so good like you know that classic deodorant scent? That's exactly what it smells like. It's so good. And then the last one that I got is Cotton and Lily. And this one is from their Sensitive line. Oh, this one just smells like so just fresh. Their new packaging on their plastic-free deodorant is 100% plastic-free. The formula inside in terms of the actual like deodorant is 100% the same as their other packaging. You actually save 37 grams of single-use plastic when purchasing one of their plastic-free deodorants. Native actually partners with an um, organization called 1% for the Planet. So 1% of their sales on their non- plastic deodorant goes to environmental nonprofits. Their formula is so non-sticky and it dries so fast. It's aluminum-free, paraben-free, vegan, and cruelty-free. And it has like really simple ingredients like she butter and coconut oil, so things that you're probably familiar with. Usually after my workouts, I feel really icky, like my armpits, like even just like wearing a crew neck sometimes, my armpits will get super sweaty and I'll feel really gross. But while wearing this, it just makes me feel so fresh and clean and I definitely do not smell like I usually do. So this one is actually from their sensitive range like I mentioned before and it doesn't contain baking soda It's also vegan. So out of these three I think my favorite scent is definitely the cotton and lily, but they're all just so good Usually if you would order three of their deodorants, it would cost $39 But if you guys use my code bento, you can get three of them for $26 and that's over 33% savings and with my code You can also get 20% off their body wash and toothpaste but Yeah, this has honestly been a dream of mine to work with native and you guys have made this possible. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to check out the link in my description and thank you Native for sponsoring this video. So I had the most perfect morning you guys like it was just like picture perfect like I woke up early and I had a good sleep like I went to bed at 10 30 last night and I woke up at like around 7 15 so I got like so much sleep plus I was like not that tired when I woke up. I did my meditation in the morning, I did my yoga, and then me and Brittany went for a nice walk. We did four laps around the lake, and it was just so peaceful and calming. Walking in the morning, like early, is such like a different vibe, and it's so peaceful. And then we went to go get breakfast at a cute little cafe, and it was just so nice. Like, I appreciate beautiful mornings like that so much. And honestly, I've been in like a rut lately. Like when I got back from my vacation, like I know I explained this in my last vlog, but honestly, like when you're in a rut, it takes time to get out of it. It's not just like one day you're gonna do a bunch of shit and then you're gonna be out of the rut. Like it doesn't really work like that. You kind of have to keep working towards it. And it's not only like my cat passing last week, but it's just like after 
my vacations i feel like i was just like on such a high i had so much dopamine and then coming back home like after my cat passed it just like was really hard to get over that plus the fact that like i was back home so like everything was felt different and i don't really know why but i guess like it's just like the wave of life and it's normal for your life to be up and down and this week i'm really working towards getting out of this slump trying to do like get back into my routine and do the things that make me happy and grounded and like get back into it to make myself feel better and i'm not like fully there yet but i'm definitely getting back and i'm definitely feeling like a lot happier now and a lot better but i just want you to know that like if you're feeling like you're in a rut right now or you're feeling down or whatever just know that you will eventually get out of it and it's really important to feel those emotions and it will eventually get better like i promise and just make sure to be surrounding yourself with things that you love doing and just like nourishing yourself like you got to water yourself and i was watching the net um video yesterday and it like really really spoke to me she was basically talking about like how in the society we're built like machines and if we are not working and when we're taking time off we always like our head is always like thinking about what can make me a better worker what can make me more money and you're not truly just like living the way that he you're here to live and the way that human beings are supposed to live because like we're so wrapped up in society and for the most part like our jobs are the most important thing in our life and it's the most important part it's true like one of the first questions when you meet somebody you're gonna ask them like what's your career like that's one of the like that's literally like what takes up our time that's what we work towards and she was also saying like when we take vacations we take vacations like not just to be a human being and to live our life but we take vacations ultimately to like help us rest and then to come back as a better worker like everything is revolved around work no matter what you do no matter what field that you're in and it's just like so important to try to separate yourself from your job and think about what you really want for you in your life not career wise not financially just like solely based on you place yourself outside of society and just try to think about like what do you want with your life that that doesn't have to do with your career because ultimately like we're married to what we do we need to make money and it's just like that's how our society works and that's how it runs she was also saying how like we're not going to make a change unless we all realize that and know that we like hold the power within ourselves we're on like a floating planet in the middle of the universe and i always think about that and it's like we're so wrapped up in this society of ours and our jobs and that's basically like our main focus and what takes up nine percent of our lives i would say because even when you're not working you're thinking about your work and even like me being doing a very creative job it's like even when i had like last week off i'm so like programmed to feel guilty that i'm not like working in terms of like i'm my brain is always on thinking of content thinking of ways to make money thinking about what videos i should make um and all that kind of stuff and even though like this is truly my passion and that's also a reason why i'm constantly thinking about it it's nice to have like a guilty free break from thinking of any of that at all i'm always thinking in the moment like oh i need to capture this content and i need to um think of more content ideas and blah 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 but it's like it's not healthy to always have your brain on and even if you work like a different job like an office job or whatever you do for your work you could probably relate in the sense that like even when you have your days off um and designated time off you're kind of still always thinking about it whether you're dreading to go back to work or whether you're just thinking about new things that you can do within your job or how to exceed better um within your job and so i'm gonna be trying to work on that moving forward is just kind of like separating what i do versus just like me as a person and my and my purpose here on earth and i already know for a fact that like my purpose is to do youtube and to share like my thoughts with you guys and to t like communicate this and i know that's my purpose but at the same time it's exhausting for my brain to constantly be thinking about this thinking about content ideas and stuff and it's like when i don't think about it i start to feel guilty like oh shit should i be working towards this blah 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 and it's like i don't know basically what i'm saying is that it's really easy to get burnt out nowadays like there's so many people with mental health issues and she was also saying this in her videos it's like so many people have issues nowadays because of the pressure that society holds on us it's more than ever now that people are struggling and we're so desensitized to people that we walk by on the street if we see somebody homeless it's like oh yeah that's just normal like we just think that that's normal but it's like no that's not normal that's like society made you think that that is normal it's not normal for people to be on the streets and not have a home 
it's not normal for somebody to have like so much money to spare in the bank like trillions of billions of dollars in the bank and then there's like population that doesn't even have a roof over their head or food to eat every day and it's so crazy that that's just normal in our society but anyways i don't really know exactly what i'm trying to say here to be completely honest but i'm just expressing my thoughts because that video like really touched me yesterday and it just kind of made me think that it's so important to separate yourself from what you do and just truly take time for yourself and not to feel guilty about it and to take time to reset and enjoy your life aside from your career not to say obviously that i don't love youtube because i would be doing this regardless of the payment like i would still be posting videos regardless of if i got paid or not so it's not really like about youtube like what I, it's not really about how i'm feeling specifically but it's just like in general and in life but yeah anyways so i've just been feeling like i'm in a slump and i can't wait to do things today just kind of like get myself back on track this week but yeah anyways breakfast was so good i spilled some um like literally the egg flung onto my leggings and i have like a big yellow stain look at it right here I don't know if you guys can see that, but like, yeah, right there. That's nice and nasty. Okay, I just did a 360 outfit change <laughs> because my leggings were so dirty. So I just decided to change my whole outfit. And honestly, it's kind of chilly in my home because we have such good air conditioning in here that it actually makes it like kind of cold. Like you can wear a crew neck or sweatpants and it's fine. So it's kind of cold. So I put on this um, crew neck. But anyways, right now I just have a couple of things that I want to do. So first off, I want to make my bed because whenever Joel leaves the house or is the last one to get up, he does not make the bed, which is fine. But I'm just, it makes me feel better when it's done. And also, I just have like a little bit in the kitchen to clean. I have these bananas that's been going bad for so long, but I don't have any Ziploc bags, so I don't know how to freeze them. And they're at the point right now where I just need to make like muffins or something with them. So that's what I'm going to do. And there's so many, it's kind of stressing me out. So probably going to do that later. Yeah, just going to tidy a bit around. And I also have, I have a bunch of laundry and shit to put away. So I really want to get this done too before I sit down and start editing. Because it just makes me feel better being in like a cleaner space. <laughs> now i gotta get all of the towels like in the kitchen here this freaking towel like i'm not I'm not gonna bluff it or not gonna lie this towel hasn't been washed probably since before our trip so this has been stinking up in this kitchen for probably a month now and it's disgusting actually it didn't smell that bad but like i like to wash these usually every week so that's kind of disgusting but it's fine it's fine we're just gonna get gather all of these towels that needs washing because there are a lot of them actually the hand towels in the bathroom these ones i'm also gonna do these our body towels yeah i literally just realized and i was like ew like we haven't washed our towels in a good month so that's kind of gross but it's like we've been away so it's like it's not like the biggest deal just got this one from the other bathroom but anyways let's do a load of laundry okay also our kitchen um like ew dish dish cloth i haven't washed this in like the same amount of time either but I feel like they just get so disgusting so fast. Let me know if you guys have like links to good uh, dishcloths like to wipe the table and stuff. Because I've been using these ones from Ikea. But ooh, they're white. And so they look extra nasty when I like when I we use them. Yeah, like I usually wash them once a week. But they still like somehow get like really nasty. But I think that's just normal for like all dishcloths in general. But definitely not buying white again. Because it makes them look extra nasty. So... <laughs>
by the way Just got in town And I won't let you me this cloud It's all in the sky Ruin my vibe 